today we're gonna show you how to install a wedge anchor in uh, a concrete on a concrete surface the diameter is half inches and the length is three inches three and a quarter um, this is what a wedge anchor looks like um, it consists of a um, bolt portion and this is the sleeve and this is the tapered end so when you install this in a concrete surface what happens is this sleeve gets logged and once you start tightening this up the bolt pushes outwards and kind of locks into the sleeve over here so we're going to show you the entire process and we'll provide you more details on this um, we are going to use a masonry drill bit a uh, half an inch size uh, depending on the size of the bolt you use and the diameter make sure you check the requirements um, like here for instance the for the size of the bolt we use half inches in diameter and three and a three three inches and three and a quarter uh, we need a masonry bit of half inches and it also tells you how deep you should be uh, drilling down in the on the concrete surface uh, what should be the minimum embedment um, how much should be the extra drill hole beyond the bolt um, so based on that what you can do is just take your drill bit measure how much you need to drill down into the concrete surface and just use a maybe a marker or just put a tape around it uh, so that you have a have a mark so when you are drilling you know you're not drilling anything um, anything beyond what's needed something like that the process primary includes drilling um, cleaning so you just clean the hole uh, with any dust then you drive the bowl into the into the hole uh, attaching anything that you want to put like a, a, a base plate or a, a sign or a or, or a fence or a post base something like that and then you need to tighten it so when you tighten your uh, bolt you know it kind of tells you that you need to tighten like two five times you know the uh, clockwise direction and also give you how much of a torque you need to apply uh, the size of the bolt that you need to select would depend on the thickness of your existing concrete slab uh, typically a concrete slab is a minimum uh, four, four inches, inches thick uh, but for it could be more than four like six inches or eight inches so depending on the uh, thickness of your concrete slab and also depending on how much of a loading you intend on putting on the bolts you know uh, in our case we are using a three and a three quarter inch bolt because our concrete slab existing is only four inches thick and we would be attaching a patio shed column uh, base plate uh, using this wedge anchor the drill machine we're gonna use is a dwarf XR um, cordless drill machine uh, it's uh, not a very heavy duty drill machine it is very nice for for, for multi purposes um, you can use it as a uh, driver you can also use it as a drill and then you can also use it as a hammering drill which is really a nice option um, yeah. for the purposes of drilling a hole in a concrete uh, you don't really need a very heavy duty hammer drill uh, it can be done by a simple drill something like this um, the good thing about drill is you can also adjust the with different speeds so for the purpose of our for, for our purpose we're gonna go with the highest speed setting you're gonna set it to the hammer drill so basically what it does is when you are drilling down it's gonna do a little pounding impact so that you can drill the hole easily down into a solid surface like concrete uh, this uh, drill machine also comes with a uh, handle side handle uh, for additional stability so that you can uh, use your both hands and drill down uh, with, with, with some precision.
So when you start drilling, make sure you start nice and slow, uh, uh, indent on your concrete surface. And once you get the nice grip, you can go, you can go really fast. Right, so now, now let's start the drilling. We are going to remove the dust using a uh, cordless tool vacuum. So there are two things that we need to keep in mind when we are driving the bolt. Uh, one is the minimum embedment, meaning the length of the bolt which should go into the concrete. And second thing is the, um, the, the stub or the reveal of the bolt that you need for whatever thing that you are planning on attaching. For instance, in our case, uh, we are attaching a base plate for the uh, patio shed post. Use the impact driver to fasten the nut to the bolt. Uh, do not over tighten the, uh, the nut 